Another violent weekend in America. A New York tourist shot in the back in broad daylight on a Sunday afternoon. Police say the 21-year-old was caught in crossfire after an unrelated argument broke out. Chicago also seeing another bloody weekend. Two people fatally shot. Another 65 were injured by gunfire. Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney is saying the increasing crime is tearing communities apart as the city sees three shooting deaths and nearly two dozen shot this weekend. Lee, clearly American people care about this, but the tendency of the left and the Democrats and Joe Biden is to blame legal gun owners and not actual criminals who illegally have guns. This is going to be a big problem for the Democrats, because even if you look at polling over the last month, there's been a huge increase in focus on this. And I think it's significant to note 69 percent of Americans view violent crime as increasing. That's a big problem. Um, they also look at uh, Joe Biden's handling of this. He gets a 47 dis 47 percent disapproval rate. That's up 5 percent over the last month. 55% of Americans are saying that violent crime is a big problem. That's up 6% in a month. And among Democrats, it's up almost 10%. So Americans are waking up to this as an issue. It's been an issue up and down over the last two years. But right now, it really is a centerpiece. And the Biden administration is going to have to answer for it. And I think that we're seeing it's one of the issues that people are most concerned about more than COVID, more than almost any other issue, more than the economy even. People are afraid of their physical mm -hmm. safety. They're, they're concerned about their physical safety and they want to see something done about it. And I'll just point out, last summer, there was rioting and looting in streets in major cities across the country, and it took months for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to even admit there was a problem. Remember, mostly peaceful, and now they're trying to memory hole the fact that there was violence at all last year.